Hi, I'm Linda. Welcome to Loop, Chisel, Bums and Tums. For today's workout, all you will need is an exercise mat and a resistance loop. I'm using a medium to heavy loop, so it's up to you how heavy you want to go. We will be doing abs exercises, all different ones, as well as lower body. So if you want to have two different loops, a lighter one and a heavier one, then go for it. Okay, we're going to start with abs. So I want you to put your loop around your ankles and then just come and lie down so that your tummy is pulled in and you're kind of rounding your shoulders up in a C curve. We're gonna place our hands to our sides and just bring our hands up. We're gonna start pushing down and breathe in and out at a really regular pace. And you're just beating your arms. You have your shoulder blades up. You're looking up at the ceiling and you're pulling out on the loop. So the entire workout, you need to be pulling on that loop. So a few more like this, and then we're gonna start extending and bending the legs in the same position. Four, three, two, one. Now go out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four, in, and out, and in. The lower you go to the floor with your legs, the harder this is going to be. So if you're finding it too hard, keep it up higher. Just for four, and in, three, and in, two, and in, last one, and in. Nice job. Now put your hands behind your head just to cradle your head a little bit. We're going to come back up, so you're rounding up with your chest, and now we're going to just go out, in, pull out, for two. It's out, it's back to center, pull out for two. So you just have your shoulder blades up, which engages your upper abs, and you're out and in, pull out in a 90 degree angle with your legs. In, pull out for two. So you're really trying to keep your lower back into the mat. Don't let it curve up. There should be no space there between your back and the mat. Out, in, out for two, out, in, out for two. So using a little bit of outer thigh, lower abs, and some upper abs. Just go for four, out, and three, out, and two, out, last one, and out, now keep your legs out. We're going to extend this back leg. And as we come over, we're gonna pull out to the back with the leg, okay? It's a tiny motion. You're just crossing over, doing like a bicycle sort of crunch. The one leg, the front leg is completely static, just holding and anchoring that loop. And you're pushing the back leg towards the back wall. So you're pulling out with the loop. Really feeling this. Keep going. If you prefer this arm out, you can do that. For four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna switch sides. So bend the back leg, extend the front leg, it's slightly down. And as you cross to the back, you pull the leg to the front. Okay, so blow out all the air, ring out your waist. You're ringing out across the body and using that leg to engage your obliques. So you're engaging uppers and lowers obliques all the way across. Try to really keep that supporting leg nice and tight and it's not moving much at all here. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Now roll all the way down. We're gonna roll up, coming up with our hands by our legs and then we're going to open our legs out for four. So arms overhead, keep your legs at tabletop position. 
Deep breath in, it's arms, chin and up. Now out, two, three, four. Roll down with control. Arms, chin and up. Out, two, three, four. Down with control. Breathe in all the way up. One, two, three, four. Down, roll it down. You're articulating your spine down and up. Two, three, four. At the moment, your legs are still bent, but we are going to straighten them. One, two, three, four. One more with bent legs, and then we're going to straighten them. One, two, three, four. It's down. Now, as we come up, straighten your legs. One, two, three, four. Roll down and bend. Everything out, straighten. One, two, three, four. Roll down and bend. Everything up. One, two, three, four. You're going to feel this in your hip flexors a little bit. That's okay. We're strengthening everything here. Down and back. All the way up. One, two, three, four. Let's do three more sets. Breathe in and all the way up. If you can't do straight leg, then just stay with the bent. And all the way up. One, two, three, four. And this is the last one. All the way up. One, two, three, four. Awesome job. Just come down for a second. Sit up nice and straight. Deep breath in. Lengthen your spine. Now come back and I want you to hold on to the back of your knees so that you can blow all the air out and you're curving forward with your chest. So you're in with your tummy and forward with your chest, okay? Then if you can, I want you to let go and just place your hands in line with your knees. We're going to shimmy, shimmy. Now your legs are far enough apart so that you've got tension on that loop, right? And you're just slowly shimmying side to side, reaching in front of you. Really feeling that in your upper abs, bit of lower ab and definitely obliques. Go for five, four, three, two, one. Now keep going and start lifting the front leg. Down and back leg. Down and front leg. Keep going, back leg. If you want to lean further back, you'll feel it even more. Down and back. Down and front. Down and back. Four more sets. And front, down and back. Two more and front, last one, and back. Nice job, come up, breathe in, sink all the way back. Now last little bit and then we're moving on to glutes, okay? So you're still holding on. Now I want you to hold on, twist, hold on at the front, blow all the air out and lift the front leg. Now as you are lifting that front leg, we're gonna let go and just come down to the side for now, twisting, punching your hands, your fists down, just holding that leg static, holding that leg really nice and straight. And now we're gonna start adding a pull out with that leg, okay? So pull to the front as you twist, pull, pull, pull out as you twist down. Pull out. Your leg is straight. It's in the same horizontal plane. It's just pulling to the front. 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 Keep breathing. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Don't come up. Hold back on. All the air out. Now come to the back. Extend the back leg, anchor the front leg. There's still tension on that loop. Really twist your body around. Let go, make some fists and just start twisting to the back. Back, 
punching your hands towards the mat. Keep going. You're wringing out your waistline. That leg is just static at the moment. Five, four, three, two, one. Now pull to the back, back, back. So as you twist, you're pulling, pulling, pulling. Keep the leg really straight. Lock out behind the knee and try to lean back a little bit further as you twist and pull. Keep breathing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Coming up. Sit up straight, straighten your spine. And we're going to do some glutes. We're going to start off in a tabletop position. So, first of all, put the loop around your feet, okay? Then just come around and I want your loop in the arch of your foot, okay? So we're gonna work the front leg first. The back leg is going to anchor. Now, depending on if you have slippery uh, leggings on or just how you like to hold the loop. You can either keep it around your foot and push your foot down or if that's too difficult you can put it around the ankle of the back leg, okay? We're going to be doing pushing exercises so you need to find the position that works for you. Come into a tabletop position where your arms are really nicely aligned under your shoulders, your tummy's pulled in, your back is flat and we're just going to start with our leg in a semi-bend position, push up. So your foot can be flexed or it can be pointed, it doesn't really matter so much, but you're just keeping a light bend in that leg and pushing your heel towards the ceiling. Push, 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 push. I want you to think about keeping your hips really level so you're not turning your hip out at all to the front and you're pushing up against the tuck. So tuck your hips slightly and you're pushing up against the tuck. Keep going. Regular pushes up. Starting to feel that already. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now keep it up and I want you to draw a circle with your knee. Draw a circle, so it's down around up, down around up. Draw that circle and on the up is where you squeeze it. It's slow and controlled. Down around up, all the way around. Breathing, really fight for it. Four, three, two, one. Now reverse the circle. So you're coming across and in. Across and in. You don't need your foot to be high here. You're going to feel it even if it's low. That loop is really going to increase the resistance. Four, three, two, one. Now I want you to completely straighten the leg, retuck your hips, and then we're just going to go up and down, up and down. Okay, so make sure that you've got nice alignment, your kneecap is facing down to the mat and you're pointing that toe long. All the way up, squeezing that glute, making fists out of those glutes. Keep breathing. Breathe out on the exertion, breathe out on the up. Up and up. Let's do five, four, Three, two, one. Now hold it up and circles. Circle it. All the way around. Really burning. <laughs> Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. And the other way. Don't worry if it's not high. Just keep going. Breathe through the burn. Around, around. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop 
stop for a second. Last thing on this side, we're going to keep our leg up, go cross tap, out tap. Across tap, out tap. Kneecap is still facing the mat. Don't turn your knee out to the front. This is hard on the supporting leg as well. Across, out. Across, out. Go for four, and three, and two, and one. Ouch, really felt that. Now adjust your loop so it's around the sole of your foot again. And we're gonna do the other side. Okay, so make sure it's nice and flat. Again, if you prefer to have it on your, around your ankle instead of your foot at the back, you can. Now, this supporting leg did a bit of work for us, holding us in place. So you're gonna feel it more quickly. So next time you might wanna start with the other side, but we're gonna try. So tummy's in, back is flat, nice alignment with your hands. Look down at the mat, your leg is just slightly bent, okay? So it's not all the way, it's not all the way out and it's not all the way in, slightly bent and you're just pushing up. Again, it doesn't matter so much if you've got your foot flexed or pointed, all that matters is that you're pushing and that you are working against the tuck. So you're slightly tucking your hips and then pushing up, which means there's not a huge range of motion here. That's okay. We don't need large range of motion. We just need to feel the burn. <sighs> Breathe and push up and up. Just focus on where the butt and hamstring meet. That's where we're working right now. Think about that pot, spot and squeeze it hard. Up and up, up and up. Five, four, three, two, one. Now keep it up and we're drawing circles. Doesn't matter which direction, as long as you're circling your leg. Keep breathing, oxygen will help you with this. So you need to make your circle big enough that there's always tension on the loop. There should never be slack. Five, four, three, two, one, and reverse it. Breathing, breathing, tummies are in. Your neck is in nice alignment with your spine. Oh, keep going. These loops really burn, but they get your results, so just keep at it. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to extend the leg fully, so re-tuck your hips, tummies are in, deep breath in and up and up. So you're just lightly tapping down, you're not dropping your leg and resting it down there, and then you're pushing up. Think about pushing with your glutes. Don't push with your foot. So initiate the movement with your glutes, okay? Just breathe through it. Keep going, don't arch around your back. Just keep it neutral, keep it flat. Pull up and up. The focus is up, it's not on the down. You're slowly lowering your leg, you're not just letting it drop. Five, four, three, two, one. Now keep it up and draw little tinsy circles. Stay where your loop is really stretched. Don't let it slack. Around and around. Oh, five, four, three, two, one, and the other way. Mm, keep going. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. Now rest it for a second. We're gonna do those rainbows, so if you need to adjust your loop around your foot, do that. 
then back out and long and it's across and out across and out try to keep it high in the center of the arc and pull across pull across each side kneecap to the mat keep going keep breathing you can do this. You did it on the other side, so I know you're going to survive. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Okay, we're going back to abs. So this time, we're going to put the loop or leave the loop underneath the soles of the feet. Now open your feet up, so you're making like a diamond shape with your legs. Your feet are out, but your heels are together. And we're actually going to hold on to the top portion of the loop. Bring your feet together and then slightly roll back. So similar thing that we did before, C curve, air out, tummies are in, chest is slightly forward, and we're just holding on to that loop. We're going to anchor our heels there, so they are not going to come off. They're going to anchor us, and we're slowly going to curve back 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 okay so this is just going to give you a bit of assistance to get a little bit lower you're blowing out and out blowing out and out so your hips need to be tucked here try to hold everything in and tuck your hip bones up back and back back and back so you're squeezing those legs to keep them on the floor, five, four, three, two, one. Now hold back here, all the air out, and just pull in, and in, in, and in. So as you pull in, I want you to think about tucking your hips. Tuck and tuck. It's a tiny little motion, but you really should be feeling your lower abs burning. Tuck and tuck. Squeeze your glutes, tuck your hips. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here. Release the back arm, make a fist, and just push back. So hold it here in tension. Keep breathing. Just push back. Push back. Stay in that C curve, tuck your hips. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold back on, all the air out, make a fist with the front arm, pull on that loop, tuck your hips and push back. You're squeezing on the heels, pushing into the mat. Come on, you can do this. Lean a bit further back if you can. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold back on. Okay, now we're gonna do obliques. So flow all the air out and I want you to curve to the side. So now you release the bottom arm, your top arm is in line with the leg, you're still anchoring here and you're just gonna go back, the other arm's released. Back, back, back. Try to stay low, try to tuck your hips. Tuck your hips every time you lower back. Push on your heels, keep them nice and anchored. Five, four, three, two, one. Stay down and pull, just pull. As you pull, tuck your hips, tuck, tuck, tuck. It's a tiny motion. Five, four, three, two, one. Last thing I promise, arm up and just pull back, 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 back. Keep your hips tucked. Just twist to that side and pull back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to center, come up for a second, I'm not that mean. Deep breath in, make sure your feet are really anchored. Back down, all the air out. Okay, we're going to twist over to the back. So this 
hand is in line with your knee and the other hand is on the other side of the knee. And we're going to pull back and up, back and up. So you're twisting, but you're keeping both of your butt cheeks down on the mat. You're anchoring those feet and you're just coming back, really twisting through that waist, pulling everything in. Back, back, keep pulling. Five, four, three, two, one. Now stay back and just pull. As you pull, you're tucking the hips. It's a tiny tuck and you're twisted to that back side. So you're tucking, squeezing your glutes. Just breathe and tuck and pull, pull, pull. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now hold on to that arm by the ear and push back. Twist. Keep your hips tucked and push your arm back. Hold on to that band. Legs are anchored. Twist, twist. Push your arm behind you. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Oh, hold back on, come up. Ooh, deep breath. Okay, we're doing some more glutes. Now, we're going to lie on our front. We're going to keep the loop where it is. Now, I want you to be really comfortable in your upper body. So if you want to lie your head all the way down, you can. I'm not going to because I want to see you. We're going to keep that loop there and pull out. So make sure there's tension on that loop the entire time. Now from here, just start lifting. Lifting. Slow and controlled. Pull out and lift up. Lift up. So you're squeezing your glutes, pushing your toes towards the ceiling. Lift. Lift. Keep going. We're going to add in those pull outs. Remember how we did those with the abs? So we're going to lift and then we're going to pull out for four. Lift for two, pull out for four. Okay, but we're going to do four more of these. Four, three, two, one. Now lift for two. So it's one, it's two, stay up, pull one two, three, four, yes. One, two, stay up. One, two, three, four. There's only eight of these. One, squeeze your glutes. Squeeze, stay up. One, two, three, four. Oh, wow. One, squeeze up. One, two, three, four. It's a tiny pull out. It's a one, it's a squeeze up. One, two, three, four. It's tiny. You don't need to pull hard here. Up, one, two, three, four. Okay, two more. One, and up, one, two, three, four. One more. One, and up, one, two, three, four. Wow, that really burned a lot. Okay, we're going to move the loop down a bit so it's around our calves more than our ankles. Sorry, our ankles more than our feet. We're going to come in, point the toes, extend and down. In, extend and down. In, extend and down. So it's like toes in, knees out. Your knees stay in the same position and your toes come together. And then as you extend, you widen your legs again. In, extend and down. Try to keep your thighs off the mat. That's the key. In, extend and down. In, extend and down. A few more like this. I know they're hard. Extend and down. Just squeeze those glutes. Extend and down. In, extend. For three, extend. For two, extend. Last one, extend. Now anchor the back leg 
and we're gonna keep the legs quite wide and just lift. Lift, tiny pulses, tiny pulses. Just breathe. Kneecap is to the mat and you're breathing through the burn and you're really, really trying to keep that other leg back so you have a good stretch on the loop. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Circles. Yes, circle it. Circle, circle, fast circles. Try not to let the leg come in too far. Keep it out so that there's a wide stretch on your loop. I've got my other foot off the mat at the back there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other way. Other way, might be awkward, but lift that leg, try to keep it high. Keep going. Circles. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. We're going to the back, so really anchor it. It's just raise it up. So fast raises. Toe is pointed. Leg is super straight. Anchoring the front leg and pushing up, never allowing the loop to go slack. We're nearly done. This is the last little set of exercises. So try your hardest. Up and up, up and up. Think about something else if you have to, but make sure you squeeze. Up, 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 up. Breathe through the burn. Keep going. This leg had a longer rest, so we've got to make it even, make it burn just as much. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up and circle. Doesn't matter which way, we're going to reverse it. Just breathe. Breathe. Oh, feeling that. Tiny little circles. Keep your thigh up off the mat. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then reverse it. Reverse. This feels really awkward with my left leg, but that's okay. I'm going to keep going. Keep breathing through it. Keep going. A little bit more. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. And that is it. Oh, come up and we're going to stretch back. Child's pose. Oh, definitely felt those glutes burning. And we're just going to sit down, take our loop off. And we're going to do some stretches for the glutes. So just bring your leg up and then push your chest towards your leg and try to bring your knee out. <sighs> Breathe oxygen back into those muscles. And then just change sides, other foot on top. Push that chest towards your leg. Nice and tall through the upper body. And then for our side body, because we did quite a bit of oblique work, just come down and stretch over. And then come up and Push your fingertips to the other side. And then just switch your legs around. Same thing. Over. And then push across. And just sit cross-legged bit more glute stretches since that was our predominant muscle group today. So just come over the top. Try to really make sure your glutes stay on the mat 
as you come forward and your back is flat. You don't want to round forward. You want to really keep your chest nice and tall and just hinge at the hips. And then just come over, stretching the side body as well. And to the other side. And then just switch which leg is on top. And again. So you always feel the stretch more in the leg where your foot is in the front. So I'm feeling it more on this side. And again to the side. And on the side. And then just to release the lower back, we're going to come into a tabletop and up and down. So that cow. Feels good to release like this because we did most of our abs exercises in a C curve. So you want to counterbalance that. And then just come all the way down and push up through the chest. Stretching out the front of your abs. And then come back into child's pose one more time. Separate your knees, push your shoulders down. And that is it. Thanks so much for joining me for my bums and tums loop chisel. I hope you felt the burn with the loop. If you didn't, please go up to a higher intensity loop. There's many more that you can do. You can even double up to lighter loops because I want you to feel the burn in order to keep getting results. Alternatively, you can also add some ankle weights to the exercises. I'll see you in the next segment.